This dangerous storm will be near Lockport and Crest Hill around 5.55 a.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Orland Park, Chicago Land Speedway, Route 66 Raceway, Joliet Slammers Baseball, and Lewis University. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid the mid-atlantic. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Some unbelievable crazy skies this morning. It looks ugly. We're under a severe thunderstorm watch. And, uh, you know, in the Midwest, severe thunderstorm watch can mean a lot of things. I was uh, en route to uh, a location that my wife actually told me about. And I just wanted to stop here. There's this long country road. It's downhill. And uh, I got out, I wanted to do a shot, but uh, the temperature dropped so much that now I've got um, condensation on my lens. I can't even shoot this, it's, it's crazy. Here, I'm gonna show you all around. I'm gonna do a 360, it's insane what the skies are doing right now. Check this out. It's like 5.30 in the morning, right around 5.30. Sun is supposed to come up at like 5.23, so pretty ugly, but here, I'll show you. everybody I gotta get out of here this is about literally like 20 seconds after I was just filming now the wind is picked up uh, yeah pretty wild I'm back in the car. I'm driving uh, southwest to a location that I thought was going to be really cool. Just some old like hay bales out in the farmer's field. I was going to get a sunrise picture up over those uh, the hay bales. Just a real rustic kind of image. Um, but obviously those plants are all blown up at the moment. Guys, this massive thunderstorm has just started to roll through. Uh, I got one picture back there where I just was uh, because the, it started, the rain started coming down in uh, buckets. It came down hard, you know, great big raindrops. And then, the, as you saw, the wind had picked up quite a bit. So, I am just right now en route to uh, that location that I was originally thinking about and we're gonna see what we can make of that still so hey good morning everyone and uh, welcome back to Midwest Exposures I am Garrick and uh, 
just out on a Saturday morning trying to enjoy a little bit of landscape photography here in the Midwest and all hell broke loose so pretty neat but honestly it got a little scary back there on, uh, when I was on that side road because you never know you know they can't predict these tornadoes they come out of nowhere seemingly and uh, it just got really really creepy really really fast so hi um, and the bummer of it was is my lens was all fogged up because the temperature dropped so fast but oh well what are you gonna do so the skies are are going crazy right now as I, I'm driving and uh, I'll try to show you but I gotta be careful because the wind is blowing so hard it's blowing the truck all over the place so fun times here in the Midwest so thanks a lot thank you very much for stopping I'm sorry about the shaky video just doing this with my iPhone as I'm driving, which is not uh, recommended by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I just saw a barn down the side road right here that I should have turned. Doggone it. Oh well, maybe I can double back. Wow, what what a start to a Saturday morning. Like I was saying earlier, I was just wanting to get up, get out, go get some sunrise images. So I was on my way here this morning for the sunrise and to my surprise, it got really, really ugly and really, really fast, just crazy. And then all of a sudden, um, I turned the radio on and uh, tornado warnings which is the bad one there's watch and there's a warning in the Midwest and when you hear tornado warning that means take cover so that was going on I mean thankfully the tornado warnings the locations were were east of where I was at the time that I heard it on the radio so it had already passed me but either way little it's a little dicey when the weather changes that that quickly ah so anyway here I am in the uh, out in the country gonna take some shots I'm gonna see if I can find a composition of uh, using these hay bales some way shape or form I'm not sure yet um, just still trying to uh, settle myself <laughs> after <laughs> after that uh, storm rolled through so but, all right, so I'm going to walk around these uh, hay bales, see if we can frame up something nice and uh, rustic and country and Midwest. And uh, I'll get back to you in just a second with hopefully something good. All right, so this first composition, I used the hay bales as an angle coming into the scene love that sky out there just beautiful and i've said it a million times i'll say it again when you're out this kind of light it's a very dynamic range get your sky right get your exposure of the sky right 
in post-processing you can pull a lot more out of the shadows than you can the highlights once you burn out the highlights they're gone so so get your sky right I'm gonna I gotta keep shooting this this guy is just uh, getting pretty pretty sweet right now holy cow I'm gonna let this thing run or maybe I'm gonna turn on a time-lapse right now so I'll be back All right, so I've been shooting this lone hay bale here for uh, about 10 minutes now. Skies are awesome. I am in the second composition. I started over there to the right of the hay bale, had the hay bale in the lower left third of my composition. Now I'm shooting it and I've got the hay bale in my lower right third of the composition. I don't know, hold on. Eh, it's actually more dead center to be honest so the skies are just beautiful I love how the top of the skies are kind of colliding together and making almost a V or almost an arrow like pointing the viewers uh, into the image but I mean that's kind of what I've seen in my head uh, shooting it a couple of different ways I am bracketing I'm doing multiple brackets but it's a beautiful scene I'm just glad that the skies are, uh, are a little more friendly right now and uh, don't have to worry about tornadoes or at least not in the immediate future so all right I'm gonna keep shooting and uh, we'll show you some images from both of these locations here in just a second So I shot those first two compositions. Now I'm just doing a two shot pano uh, horizontal or landscape orientation. And the thing you gotta remember about when you do, you're gonna do panos, you want to be level. So use your, your in-camera, uh, you know what I'm talking about, leveler. We'll call it that for now. Make sure you're level so it's easier when you want to stitch them together in post-processing. So again, I just did a two-shot uh, pano, have the hay bale pretty much dead center. So uh, in the first shot of the pano, the hay bale was on the right third. Second shot of the pano, the hay bale was kind of on the left third. So I'll be able to match those up, get a bigger sky. And again, I exposed pretty much for the sky and did a three exposure bracket one stop apart so i'll blend those all together then i'll stitch them together and make a uh, two shot pano and uh, hopefully it came out and if it did i'll put it up for you right now
All right, everybody, that is it. The uh, thunder is not going away. It's starting to sprinkle now, so crazy, crazy morning here in the Midwest. Uh, you have to love it. I'm just like, scanning the skies. It's just still amazing, amazing skies. It's only 7.08 in the morning. I could be out here for a couple more hours, but uh, it's time to call it. Um, I know some of you have been around, you know, over the years and seen a bunch of my videos. One of the very first ones I ever did, and I'm not saying to go watch it because it's probably pretty awful, but was literally right across the street. There's this old airplane. It's a, some sort of historical marker about uh, the agriculture crash in, I don't know, the 30s, 40s, 50s, I, I can't remember, but it's, it's, it's like 200 feet away from me. Just some wild skies, a wild morning. It was crazy this morning, so. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video and the pictures and enjoy the Midwest and I said it before I'll say it again and Mid the Midwest is by far the most underrepresented uh, Geographic area in the whole landscape photography genre. So I appreciate you guys joining me and uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy it. If you have some friends that might want to see uh, this kind of content or these images, by all means, let them know that I'm out here trying to grow the channel. And I uh, appreciate your help with that. So, hey, from a gorgeous, wild, and crazy Saturday morning in the Midwest, uh, I am Garrick, and I am your very best friend in the whole wide world. So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, like this video if you don't mind. That helps the algorithm and all that stuff. Make other, other people see it. And uh, that's it. Have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. And, and right on cue, here comes the wind and, and the storms. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. So thanks so much. We'll see you. Bye-bye.